Ah, che profumo! This is the most authentic, real margherita pizza you ever had in your life. Looks fantastic. Thanks to this man. Are you ready to learn how to make pizza margherita with Lucio? Vincenzo, questa è margherita. Vincenzo's Play! <laughs> Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Play! Oh yes, with Lucio's Play. Today we're here at Lucio Pizzeria learning how to make the most authentic, the most real Napoletana Margherita pizza. No Margherita, Margherita is a cocktail. Yes. So we're talking about a real Neapolitan uh, uh, pizza which is called Margherita. Margherita. Lucio is a pizza you know from Naples, grew up in Naples. Yes, I was born there, grew up there. Um, I came here when I was uh, uh, 21, so I've been here for 17 years. I was probably the first one to introduce uh, uh, the Australian market, uh, the Margherita pizzas. Please show us. Sure, let's start. So uh, now we we're gonna make uh, uh, the the dough for Neapolitan style pizza. Um, we go four main uh, ingredients: uh, 600 ml of water, 30 grams of sea salt, um, two grams of fresh yeast, and uh, um, one kilo of uh, Cinque Stagioni double zero flour. So one of the the first step to do is to dissolve the uh, salt into the uh, water so once the salt is well dissolved we add a little bit of flour usually let's say 10 percent so once the flour is uh, uh, dissolved this is the time where we had uh, fresh yeast and we're talking about uh, one gram of fresh yeast and that's when uh, we put the fresh yeast in it into the mixture at this stage, we had the remaining of the, the flour. Gradually, slowly, slowly, we had everything. And as you can see, slowly, slowly, we're getting to the right consistency. Yeah? So at this stage, once the dough is uh, forming, you can put the, the dough on, uh, on a bench, on a wooden bench or whatever you have and that's when the process of a kneading starts. The kneading process is quite important because you want to make sure that um, the gluten together with all the other ingredients they all uh, uh, combine together okay so the end product should be something uh, soft and uh, elastic to touch that's uh, uh, the end result that we want to achieve this type of dough is 24 hours fermentation so we leave overnight for uh, we let it rest for let's say 18 hours and then we we, we make the pizza bowl and we let it brew for another four to six hours and that's uh, you're gonna get 24 hours fermentation so Lucio you've been doing this for like since you were a little boy yeah you feel the pain now your arms your back absolutely absolutely but you know never give up never give up of uh, what you believe and never give up of your passion hello baby oh yeah, yeah. hello baby what's his so. name <laughs> margarita oh it's a beautiful girl <laughs> all right nice here we go perfect let's make a margarita oh lucio look at that ah, and so oh yeah oh yeah which one are we gonna pick now that's the question which so one? Let's get this one. I'll pick this one. <laughs> this one, okay, let's get this one. <laughs> so we have after 24 hours, that's what you get, my friend. So, Absolutely. So we need to use that, right? We need to always use the one. No, you know what? Let's pick your one. Yay! <laughs> so we use the, the paletta, yeah? We always use a bit of a flour. Ah, beautiful. So you put a pizza on top, nice. Look how soft this is though. Oh yeah, oh It's yeah. quite soft, oh, yeah? yeah? very soft. So that there's more water and flour in here. No? It's quite nice to... You can see that it's look, very look, elastic. It's already stretching. Yeah. It's already stretching on my head. There are not much movement here. Oh my god, look. Yep. There's not much to do. Wow. Okay, so basically uh, this is the time where uh, we stretch the dough. Basically it's all uh, hand uh, um, uh, stretched. We don't use any rolling pin. We start from the bottom. Yeah. So starting from the bottom, 
we go all the way up. And then when we go all the way, all the way up, we leave one centimeter of uh, age. Yeah? Yes. And then we turn the pizza upside down. And again, starting from the bottom, we go all the way up. So what I'm doing here, I'm pushing all the air from the bottom. And when I go all the way up, leaving one centimeter of age, that's where the air goes. Yeah, so basically I do this basically a couple of times, okay? And again, I repeat myself. I start from the bottom and I go all the way up. And this is basically a few movements. Once the dough is very soft and elastic to touch, it's quite easy to, to stretch it. We start from obviously uh, the San Marzano tomato sauce. And what do we make yeah. with San Marzano? What is that? Basically, the San Marzano tomato sauce, it's a kind of tomato that grows in the Vesuvio area, okay. yeah? Okay. So we don't add anything into the sauce apart of the salt and the basil. We don't add any oregano or garlic. So the next step is to add the uh, Fior di Latte uh, mozzarella, okay? So basically, oh, wow, how, yeah. much, how much of it? Uh, 80 maximum 100 grams. Oh, yum, yes. All right, Fior so, di Latte is a kind of mozzarella, kind of a cheese that is suitable for pizzas. Buffalo or, mozzarella. Buffalo mozzarella, absolutely. You can use a buffalo or Fior di Latte. And um, what do we do after, after the mozzarella? That, absolutely. Uh, we had a bit of uh, uh, Romano cheese, mm. okay? Not pa Parmesan, Romano, Romano which is a kind salty. which is more salty, yeah? A sprinkle of cheese and yeah. some. Uh, basil, fresh basil leaves. Beautiful. Into the pizza. You put the basil before you cook it or can you actually put the basil? There are, there are many ways to do it. Some people like to put it before, some okay. people like to put it after. Because we already put basil into the sauce, we put it after. after. And then after that, a the nice last. drizzle of uh, um, extra virgin olive oil. That's it. A nice, generous amount. Generous amount. Uh, so who is margarita? Is uh, basically this pizza was dedicated to the Queen uh, uh, Margherita. Queen that's of why. Naples. That's right. This yeah. is the history of Naples. This is the Queen Margherita. Uh, this is the most respectable, uh, respectful pizza, pizza food around the world. Yeah. Well, now, can we Thanks. Cook, can we cook the Queen? Absolutely. <laughs> we can go in the in the kitchen and uh, we can cook the pizza and uh, taste it. Of course. Um, we're talking about forno a legna. The wood fire hammer, the guys, Neapolitan style pizza, they, are, uh, they need to be cooked with really high temperature. Yeah, we're talking about 450 uh, degrees. Uh, at, um, and you know, it only takes 90 seconds to be uh, cooked. So um, at this stage, we're gonna put the pizza on a shovel, okay, or pizza peel. There we go. Bear in mind that the last spot down the bottom is the, uh, it's extremely um, hot. Yeah, it's very important also to know the temperature in the oven. Every single spot in the oven has different temperature. You gotta lift it up one here of the pizzas to make sure that the bottom is not getting burnt. Yeah. So once it's ready, we're gonna pull it out a little bit, a little twist and turn back into the same position. Five seconds like this, and the pizza is ready to go. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a perfect margarita, Lucio. This is, you can see that the dough is nice and fluffy, nice, beautiful color on top. The dough is soft but fragrant in the same time. So, Lucio, what do we have uh, left to do now? Basically, and so the last step to do is to cut it and to heat it, and I'll show you how to heat it. Oh, you want to show me how to heat it? Yes. Okay, you, you don't think I know how to eat it? No, it's uh, nothing to do with the belly. There is a technique how to okay. eat a Neapolitan style right, pizza, let's show yeah? Us, let's show us. Absolutely. <laughs> you see the Questa little vene, the little uh, vine of uh, black, it's not burned, it's, uh, uh, it's normal, yeah? Um, Neapolitan pizza has to have a fluffy um, age around, one centimeter maximum two of uh, um, age around, yeah? Another thing of for Neapolitan pizza, sometimes you see that the, the mozzarella is burnt, yeah? It shouldn't burn. The mozzarella should not burn on the pizza, yeah? And uh, uh, some mozzarella, shredded mozzarella, it's quite chewy. This is not chewy. This, it's uh, quite melted. And as you can see, it, it melts. It is melted and it's not burned, yeah? That's because of the moisture that is uh, inside of the cheese. Lucio, this is the favorite 
part of the video for me. Absolutely. So, this how is do we do it? Show me. Because this is soft and fragrant, only one thing we don't have to do is grab the pizza like this. Ah, because of the yeah. water will be flopping. Yeah, there. because it flops everything. That's right. So there is a special way to heat it. Come on, so, come on, come on. So basically we need to uh, fold the pizza, yeah? So we do one, so we fold the ears, fold one, one, two, two. look. Oh yeah. And this bar here is, has a lot of flavor in it. What's the name of Napoletano for this? Portafoglio. Portafoglio. So uh, like, um, anyway, no, let's not talk anymore. And so mangia. Mm. 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 Mmm, <laughs> buonissimo. Buona. Buonissimo. Beautiful. The margherita, it's so good. It Guys, is good. Thank you so much for Lucio, from Lucio Pizzeria. Thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Play video recipe. E ora si mangia. Buon appetito. Vincenzo's Play. Oh my god, Lucio. Today, I feel like a king because I'm eating the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Mm.